Okay, so <clears throat> we're getting to the very exciting part of um, Adobe Illustrator. Um, we've gone through so many different things, right? Simple shapes, rotating shapes, manipulating type, and then creating compound pads. Um, one of the most helpful tools or popular tools in Illustrator <clears throat> is uh, the pen tool. And in your version of Illustrator, your 2020 version, I'm pretty sure there is the pen tool. I'm going to be converting to the 2020 um, very shortly, probably in the next set of videos for next week. But for now, um, <clears throat> I want to finish this in uh, the 2019 version. Um, so you have various pen tools. So if you look at your 2020 version, you may have the same and you may have a couple new ones. We're going to just the regular pen tool. Okay, so I have a curvature tool. Um, you can also play around with this, but kind of try the pen tool first. Okay. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to click on the pen tool. Uh, the pen tool allows you to create custom shapes. Um, it is like a live connect the dots. As you can see here, I'm going to be making <clears throat> kind of like a, an egg looking shape. The tendency of the pen tool is to create a circle if you're going to make curves. If you're not going to make curves, you can obviously still use the pen tool. Um, the cool thing is you can make whatever shape you want. Um, the only thing you have to do and remember to do is to close the shape. And to do that, um, it is very much like connect the dots where you have to go back to that first point. See. If I go towards the first point, I see a little circle that indicates to me like this is that first point. I click on this and it closes the shape. You need to close the shape so it allows you to color it in, right? Um, I can, right now it has a green stroke, but I can put a fill. At any point in time okay um, so I can make using my pen tool I can make a shape that has straight edges and kind of see it's getting filled in weird um, I have a fill so while I'm if I have a fill while I'm drawing, it will fill space in as I'm drawing. So I usually encourage you to make sure that this fill is none. So when you make a shape, all you see is the line. Okay? So if you noticed, I can make straight shapes. Follows me. Then I can actually make a curve. Okay. And to do a curve, and I'll do this a little bit more, is I click and I drag with my mouse. So Or you could do this with your trackpad. Okay, to so make a curve, a curved line, click, click, and I still have my finger on the trackpad, down, or, or on my mouse, down, and I'm dragging, and I haven't let go. When I let go, 
it becomes like that becomes the line okay then i can change direction okay so the shape that i like to use as like the combination of curves and to help me change direction um, and get used to <clears throat> how the pen tool works <clears throat> is um, an umbrella top shape so i'm going to show you how to do this on a quick one and then i will focus right back into this um, on its own video. Um, here is my umbrella, one part of the umbrella. And I make a second dot and then click and drag. It doesn't have to be perfect. down here okay. um, the next thing i'm going to do is since the tendency of the pen tool is to go around in shape i'm going to tell it to change direction okay and to do that i click on that point once and you can see that there is that little triangle pointer that indicates that you want to change direction so you click it once, okay, and then you click and you drag, you click once, you click and you drag, you click once, you click and you drag, click once, you can drag, click once, and close that shape okay so save where you are okay so try the pen tool you can make a couple different shapes fill them in right practice closing the shape making straight edges and then curved edges and then when you feel semi-comfortable, try your first umbrella top, okay? And then um, for the next video, that's all I'm gonna show, how to make that umbrella top, because you're gonna need to make a couple for your assignment, okay? So um, I'm gonna end it there and then resume focusing on the umbrella and changing directions with your pen tool in the next video. All right, don't forget to save.